Let's keep it rolling, fellas. It's Madden Ratings Reveal Week all across ESPN and each day here on First Take. We're going to be revealing the top two players in each position group today. It's the edge rushers, the top-rated edge rushers in Madden 23. Miles Garrett with a 99 overall. And in the second spot, we've got the Steelers' TJ Watt with a 96 overall. Let's all take a moment and marinate on that for a second. Dan. I'm going to start with you. Are Garrett and Watt the top two edge rushers in the NFL, sir? Yeah, they are. And, and I'll speak to this strictly from an offensive perspective. I don't want to pretend that I'm Marcus Spears and no defensive lineman like that. Um, but just offensively, you're sitting there watching those guys play and you go, um, how do we double team them? Uh, can we run the ball at them? Their effort is ridiculous. They're one-on-one -on -one freaks. Can I can't single them up in pass protection. So I think because of the way that T.J. Watt has become the premier elite edge rusher in football and Miles just consistently being the freakazoid athlete but also production, it's hard for me to sit here and put somebody else in the top two. Now, I would personally have T.J. as the number one. I would have T.J. as a 99 in the Madden rating along with Miles. I don't think it's him. But it's an argument for those guys, one, two. But they're the clear one, two right now at that spot. Yeah, I, I agree with Danny for the most part. Uh -huh. And I would put TJ one, two. And, you know, this is an area where, you know, looking at film would help. This is not a receiver or a quarterback where the average fan can make it a, an educated opinion. I like Bosa of the Niners. That is a guy that I would consider. Uh, mm -hmm. I think you can put him in a conversation. Bosa is a tremendous football player. Uh, much better than his brother, who never plays. I like Bosa. I would can he bounce back with that ACL tear? I would consider him too. But I think overall we got the, we got the right two guys. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Dan. Yeah, the the only pushback I would have, um, I think Nick is in a system that is kind of set up for him as an edge rusher to go. They are going to commit with the way they slant and move to stop the run and early downs. And then you could go be a pass rush force. TJ had 22 and a half sacks on a down year for Pittsburgh defensively. I mean, there was not the, the near the talent that they have notoriously had. And then Miles was one of the lone bright spots in a difficult year for Cleveland. Like again, Nick is a great player, but I don't think that because I've seen that four, that that four man front. San Francisco style, a little bit of Chris Kasurik defensive line play. I've seen a lot of defensive ends go dominate in that. Great player. I just don't think he could jump Miles or TJ. Dan, real quick, uh, most important position on defense, yes or no? Uh, most important position on defense is cornerback, then interior defensive lineman rush guy. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.